Imagine having a sleek, futuristic juicer that promises to revolutionize how you make juice. Well, Juicero has all the fancy features, like special QR codes, Wi-Fi connectivity, and even a personalized app. It seemed like the future of juicing had finally arrived, but the sad part is people quickly realized that they could get the same results by simply squeezing the juice with their own hands. Yes, that's right. This expensive gadget became unnecessary because manual labor did the trick. So what went wrong? How did Juicero go from being the talk of the town to a source of chokes? Stay with us as we uncover the story behind this juicy disaster. From the questionable pricing to the ultimate downfall of a once promising innovation. Juicero burst onto the scene with an ambitious goal, to revolutionize the way people enjoy fresh juice. They took care of the hard work by preparing and packaging organic produce into single-serve packets, eliminating the need for manual prep. But they didn't stop there. They introduced a cutting-edge juice press that squeezed out the juice from those packets with just a press of a button, making the whole process incredibly convenient. Their commitment to freshness was unparalleled. Partnering with local farmers, Juicero ensured that their produce was processed within days of being harvested. Each packet came with a QR code that the machine would scan to determine the freshness of the juice. If it wasn't up to par, the machine simply wouldn't press it. This attention to detail meant that customers could always enjoy the freshest juice possible. To make the experience even more personalized, Juicero developed a user-friendly app. Users could customize their juice drinking schedule and have their juice packages delivered accordingly. The app also provided detailed nutritional information about the juice, empowering users to make informed choices about their consumption. Juicero's vision went beyond convenience. They aimed to make fresh raw foods easily accessible to everyone. Promoting a healthier lifestyle, their innovative approach simplified the juicing process, ensuring that people could effortlessly incorporate essential fruits and vegetables into their daily routines. When Juicero initially launched, it came with a high price tag of $699. However, the price was significantly reduced over time to make the machines more affordable. But purchasing the machine was just the start. Users also had to subscribe to a monthly service costing $5 to $8. This subscription ensured a continuous supply of fresh juice by allowing users to order new pouches. In the beginning, Juicero generated a lot of excitement, presenting itself as a revolutionary force in the juicing industry. They attracted significant investments from big-name backers who believed in their innovative and disruptive vision. It seemed like Juicero had all the ingredients for success. The company was founded in 2013 by experienced entrepreneur Doug Evans, who used to have his headquarters in San Francisco, California. Doug's journey has been quite diverse, from his training as an army paratrooper to later transitioning to a career in graphic design. In the 1990s, Doug established his design shop and ran it successfully for nearly 13 years. However, Doug's true passion for juices was ignited in 1999, when he embraced a vegan lifestyle after meeting Denise Mari, a devoted vegan. In 2002, they jointly established Organic Avenue, a business focused on selling vegan food options, including $10 juice bottles. After years of hard work, they opened their first store in New York and expanded the business into a chain of outlets. Their products gained recognition from celebrities like Gwyneth Paltrow. Despite their success, the high costs of real estate in New York posed a significant challenge for Organic Avenue, leading to narrow profit margins. In 2012, Doug and Denise decided to sell a majority stake in the company to a private equity firm called Weld North. Unfortunately, Doug was later removed by the firm. In 2015, Organic Avenue filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy but managed to reopen a year later. Meanwhile, after selling Organic Avenue, Doug faced the dilemma of finding good juice without daily involvement in a shop. He purchased various juicers available in the market but found none that met his expectations. This disappointment motivated him to develop a smaller version of the industrial presses used at Organic Avenue. With his clear vision driving him forward, Doug Evans embarked on a remarkable journey, filled with trial and error, chaos and unwavering resolve. He transformed his humble Brooklyn kitchen into a makeshift laboratory, where he teamed up with talented designers and skilled welders to bring his groundbreaking juicer ideas to life. Amidst the clutter of food scraps and metal fragments flying through the air, Doug's determination never wavered. After countless hours of experimentation and overcoming challenges, his persistence 
finally bore fruit in 2013 when he successfully crafted a prototype that worked. To secure the necessary funds for his ambitious venture, Doug embarked on a persuasive journey, tapping into the trust he had built with his former partner and backers of Organic Avenue. Through his compelling vision, he managed to convince them to invest a substantial amount of $4 million, which provided a solid foundation for his endeavor. However, it was a lucky encounter with Emil Deschpand, a partner at Kleiner Perkins that truly set Doug's aspirations on a soaring course. Recognizing the immense potential within Doug's idea, Emil became a passionate believer and chose to invest a staggering $16.5 million in 2014, catapulting the development of Doug's groundbreaking juicer to new heights. Relocating the headquarters to the bustling hub of innovation, Silicon Valley, proved to be a strategic move for Doug. This decision not only placed him near a wealth of resources, but also attracted top-tier talent to his team. Among the notable individuals who joined his ranks was Malachi Moynihan, renowned for his exceptional work on the Amazon Echo. Such high-profile additions to Doug's team sparked intrigue and even sparked rumors of potentially enlisting the design expertise of the acclaimed Apple designer Johnny Ive. While the complexity of the product posed its fair share of challenges, Doug's unwavering charisma and relentless determination proved it to be invaluable assets. With a magnetic personality that drew others towards his vision, he managed to secure additional investments despite the hurdles. In 2015, a group of 14 backers wholeheartedly believed in Doug's mission and contributed a substantial sum of $70 million, further fueling the progress of his groundbreaking juicer. After three years of development, Juicero launched its flagship product, the Juicero Press. In April 2016, accompanied by an additional $28 million in venture capital, the Juicer garnered considerable media attention, although criticism arose due to its high price tag of nearly $700. In a surprising turn of events, Doug stepped down as CEO in October, assuming the role of chairman of the board. Jeff Dunn, a former president of Coca-Cola North America, took over as CEO to drive Juicero's continued growth and success. Juicero's downfall was a roller coaster ride filled with mistakes and controversies, causing a lot of trouble along the way. Led by CEO Jeff Dunn, the company made some desperate attempts to turn things around. They decided to cut the price of their juice machine down to $399 and even expanded their operations to other states, hoping to attract more customers. However, their grand plans took a major hit when a damaging Bloomberg article exposed a shocking truth. It turned out that the expense of Juicero machine was unnecessary because people could easily squeeze the juice packs by hand and get the same result. This revelation left customers feeling frustrated and investors utterly disappointed. It was a huge blow to Juicero's credibility and trustworthiness. Despite recognizing the gravity of the situation, Juicero's attempts to salvage its reputation and restore confidence in its product were met with impossible challenges. The company implemented measures such as layoffs and devised plans to introduce a more affordable version of their juice press. Unfortunately, these efforts failed to breathe new life into the company, as the damage had already been done. The trust of consumers and investors had been severely affected making it increasingly difficult for Juicero to recover from the repercussions of their missteps. In a desperate final bid to recover what remained of their reputation, Juicero made the unexpected decision in September 2017 to halt the sale of their product altogether. Acknowledging their failure, they went a step further by offering refunds to customers. Co-founder Doug Evans, who had distanced himself from the company before its demise, had already moved on to explore new ventures, leaving Juicero in a state of disarray and uncertainty about its future. Ultimately, Juicero's assets went unsold and the company shut down, leaving behind a cautionary tale of a promising concept that couldn't find its footing in the market. The downfall of Juicero is a reminder that when it comes to juicing, sometimes the simplest methods are the most effective. Who needs an overpriced juicer when you can get the same results by using your own hands? Alright guys, that wraps up our video for today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more captivating tales of technological triumphs and pitfalls. We'll always keep you entertained with the latest insights, trends and cautionary tales from the world of innovation.